for the last 30, 40 years, the focus has been on this, fat, oil. And the low fat diet came from the 1980s when people first started to notice we had an obesity problem. And for a very long time, 30 years, the low fat diet was thought to be the best way to lose weight, but it's probably not. And now in the last two years, three years, we're focusing on this, sugar, and the low carb diet, which is the new darling of people trying to lose weight. Realistically, if you're focusing on just one of these nutrients, you're limiting your chances to have a healthy diet. It's much better to focus on portion size, to focus on eating less and avoiding processed food and fast food and making sure the food you eat is as mixed, including fruit and vegetables, as possible. So we're here at the gym at Aston University and going to a gym is a great way to increase your levels of physical activity. And remember, exercise isn't just about weight loss, it's about improving your cardiovascular fitness and making sure you're reducing your risk of nasty diseases like obesity, type 2 diabetes and cancer. Here at the gym you can see lots of different pieces of equipment that can help you work on specific types of fitness. So there are treadmills, exercise bikes and rowing machines which are really good at improving your cardiovascular fitness. And you can see that we have weight machines and free weights which will help you improve your muscle strength and your muscle fitness. Remember to think about resistance training as well. Now that could be in a gym based situation, something like this. So lifting weights to increase your muscle strength and muscle mass. But if again, going to the gym isn't for you, you can do exercises at home that use your own body weight. So you can do press ups, you can do pull ups, and that will increase the strength of the muscles you're working. And that has a really big impact on your body composition. So as you build muscle, you'll generally tend to have more fat burning going on throughout the day. So resistance training is really important. Now you might not feel you have enough time to come to a gym and that's completely understandable. We all lead very busy lives studying or working. But there are things that you can do in very short periods of time that can have the same benefit as coming to the gym for an hour or an hour and a half. A good example of that would be high intensity interval training or HIT. And this is an example of exercise where you swap very short periods of high intensity exercise with short rest periods and in doing this in as little as 10 minutes you can help improve your cardiovascular fitness. Now remember as the name suggests it's high intensity so make sure you exercise safely and you may want to speak to your GP before you start. So there we go, we've covered a few tips about your diet and about your levels of physical activity that can help you stay healthy in 2018.